In 1971, over 50 years ago, Compton, California was the focus of America. And America wanted to know if black people could govern themselves. In Compton, the mayor, the police chief, the fire chief, the city government, and 72% of the population was all black. We've had a black president and a current black female vice president. But Compton was unique. So let's go back to 1971 and check out all the questions. And we will use today as factual, unbiased proof of whether or not black people can govern themselves. When I consider our election today, 100% of the questions that were asked about black people in 1971 are being asked today. So let's take a funky ride back to 1971. Compton was the dream for the black man for a long time. The palm tree in the front yard, two cars in every garage, just as Los Angeles uh, really attracted a lot of white people that moved. Is it still the dream? Of course it is. Actually, Compton is a gold mine for a black man. In fact, I hope that perhaps the council could find uh, funds to uh, appoint someone just to go out into the all of the United States and seek out black people and ask them to move to Compton to open up nice stores in Compton. There's, a, you know, so many opportunities here for small businessmen. And if we had more black businessmen in the city of Compton with some expertise in the fields of opening up stores like uh, uh, millinery shops or shoe stores and just small business like that, they could make a fortune here. What's wrong here? We need, uh, I guess we need more law enforcement. We had a lot of gang activities, but all that's settled down now. What do you think about the uh, the black leadership of the city, the mayor, city council? Well, I don't know that much about him, so I, I really couldn't comment on him. Blacks are moving out of Compton. Why? What's what's wrong? It was more like, hey, it's more like too much of crime. People's walking down the street getting shot. And it's more like you can't do hardly nothing without getting shot or even getting jumped up. Ten years ago, whites were leaving the city in droves. Um, open housing. Blacks were coming in from the center of L.A. That was the migration pattern. It was sort of a dream city. And blacks now have 72% of the population. Uh, really, black power exists here in the establishment. Police, fire department, mayor, city council. How have blacks done in governing themselves in Compton? And, and in answer... Has an American city with a black power structure ever been successful? Leave me a comment. Uh, I had, when I was invited to come in and take over the Chamber of Commerce here, I expected the worst, frankly. I was, you know, I had visions of slums and all this sort of thing. And frankly, in the three months that I have been here, I have found that that ain't necessarily so. How about experience? Experience. Experience within the black government here. The black hasn't had an opportunity up until just recently to become active in government, so he is uh, learning as he participates. Let's put it this way. I have found uh, that the basic thing that uh, we need in Compton uh, is a, a more unified effort on the part of all of the organizations, all of the citizens, the commerce, the industry, and the city government uh, towards a, a developing a spirit of uh, pride of community and a spirit of pride in the appearance of our community. Do we need another 50 years to clean our cities? Is that a carryover from uh, the poorer sections of the blacks who came from a welfare condition, let's say, in that Watts area and moved into Compton? One reason that people have been looking to Compton is because for the first time, black power really exists. The mayor, the city council, black leadership. Mm -hmm. And why haven't they been able to come to grips with these problems? Why? You mean the black leadership? Well, I would say this, that it isn't a question of not being able to come to grips. Uh, they just haven't uh, realized until just now possibly the basic importance of what we're talking about as far as good housekeeping is concerned. They have been so busy learning the business of government. Is this going to become just uh, another slum, unable to? Absolutely not. Compton is not a slum or a black city any longer. 
it's mostly Hispanic now. And what the point I'm trying to make is that somebody white is running a chamber of commerce for a black city. No, I don't think so. Uh, like I said a minute ago, I was sent in here to integrate Compton. <laughs> well, you said that the black community does not support black merchants. This is true. Why? I can't answer that question. If you're undecided on which way you're going to vote for the upcoming election, Maybe these questions will help you make up your mind. Gangs. Uh, what is the gang problem here, the crime problem? Why is it higher, I suppose, than elsewhere? There are other major cities around the country that are turning all black or a majority of black. Is Compton the wave of the future? What can we learn from the experience here? Frankly, the blacks don't want a total black city. Blacks want integration. Now, how have they done by, by assuming the, by, excuse me, by blacks becoming the establishment? Well, I think that, uh, first of all, blacks have not yet become the establishment. I think it's too early to assign that uh, title. What kind of, or what can we learn from Compton as one of the largest black cities under black leadership? Now? I think that uh, we can't learn from Compton until Compton has accomplished things that people can recognize as successes. And blacks can govern themselves? Yeah, I think that's the same as saying, can people govern themselves? And if you say people can govern themselves, blacks are people, therefore they certainly can govern themselves. How would you rate the black leadership in Compton? Well, I believe they, they are making some progress. There's considerable that to be desired and i do realize that they have un a lot of unusual obstacles well do you think the black leadership uh, is going to be able to govern the city and make it livable if the man that's in there now can't do it i don't know who can i want to ask both of this first art um Compton is a model city. You know, things start out here on the West Coast and then move east. It has black leadership. It has for now six years. Um, what can we learn? What can the rest of the nation learn from this black city that has suddenly become 72% black? Well, now that's the opportunity that Compton has, is to show what can be done when the city is all black. Let's keep this real. Worldwide, what is Compton known for now? You want me to tell the truth or otherwise? <laughs> well, uh, so the people that have moved out that I know, you couldn't get them to move back in. They wouldn't do that. I thought you had 47 murders last year. Now, that's a problem of domestic quarrels and so forth. There's no way you can control a, a domestic outbreak where all of a sudden on an impulse someone kills another. And it's perhaps because so many people in the community uh, have guns. And I Why is that? Well, I think I stated it. It's that the blacks are the last to be hired, the first to be fired. And they came from, many, most of them came from down south where they had unequal educational opportunities for the last 300 years. And they're not equipped to compete in a society where uh, very high skills are needed. Same thing I hear in the white community. Yes. Uh, I don't think it's as bad as you. <laughs> they really turn these criminals right back out here in the street on the people over and over again. Why is it easier here? Well, you get a white liberal judge in a city like Compton that's all black. He doesn't want to make any waves. He doesn't want to antagonize the black community. So he pets the criminal. But I, I really think these judges are, many of them should get out and talk with some of the people in the community and, and really learn how they feel about it. Because they aren't satisfied with the, uh, the system as it works right now. That they, they don't want anyone to feel sorry for these criminals. The mayor is black, police chief, fire department, many of the city council members. And yet the problem rests, as you say, with a white liberal judge we've been talking in negative terms for a while let's shift gears if we can um compton is sort of a model city in the sense that it's the largest uh, black governed city west of the mississippi and, and uh, countless eyes are on you expecting can they make it has compton made it under black leadership oh, definitely uh, we're doing quite well we have some very competent administrators we're very competent elected officials and uh, we're doing just as well as any other city you have one of the highest tax rates though we have a very high tax rate because we have a lot of young people and they are being taxed to support the schools 